Hi, my love bugs. It's Jackie, and Jackie's cooking. And guys, I got something so special for you today. Ready? It's my ultimate 10 cheese over the top mac and cheese. Guys, it's cheesy, it's gooey, it's delicious, it's ah. Oh. Guys, please don't forget to subscribe and press that notification bell so you can get weekly updates on all my new recipes. So here are the ingredients. We have some half and half. We have a lot of cheeses going on today, okay? So we have some Velveeta, Colby Jack, Extra sharp cheddar, mild cheddar, Monterey pepper jack cheese, and some smoked gouda, and of course cream cheese. Oh, that's that's just divine. We have some elbow macaroni in the back. Okay. Um, we have some butter. And the rest is just the rest of the cheese I didn't finish grating. We're going to throw it in the pot so it can melt down anyway. Guys, don't worry because the ingredients are listed in the description link below. Okay, we have some mozzarella cheese. And I got some... A two pound bag mix of Reggiano and Parmesan cheese. Okay, the other cheeses were nicely and freshly grated, but this was the only cheese that I brought that wasn't grated. Okay, that's just my preference. We have some eggs. Some black pepper. Some seasoning salt, some paprika, a small to medium sized onion, minced, some sugar. And guys, I forgot to display, you're gonna need some flour as well, okay? So let's get started. So guys, I have my pot of boiling water, okay? And I'm salting my water. I wanna get nice and salted. Okay, we're gonna put in our elbow macaroni and we're gonna give it a quick little stir. And we're gonna leave it in there for about eight minutes. No more, no less, okay? Um, I just don't wanna overcook my elbow um, macaroni because it's gonna continue to cook anyway in the oven. So that's just my preference, okay? Okay, so we have a pot here. It's nice and hot. We're gonna add some butter. Okay, and guys, to that pot, okay, we're just letting it melt down to that pot. Well, anyway, it's gonna melt down anyway, but we're gonna add some minced onion. Now, a lot of you guys are probably like, why is she putting onion in her mac and cheese? Guys, trust me, it adds such a, an extra note of flavor to your mac and cheese, which is so good. You know, I always used to watch my mom make mac and cheese, so style and that extra sauteed onion oh it's, it's it's so good trust trust me okay so we're going to continue to saute our onions get them nice and translucent Okay, 
we're going to add some more butter. As you can see, I was adding my butter little by little because I wanted to saute the onions first. Um, so now we're going to melt that down. Okay, and once we got that melted down, guys, um, we're going to introduce our flour into the fat. Okay, so what we're going to do now, we are going to create a roux. Okay, first when we put our flour into the fat, we want to cook that flour for at least a good minute or two because you want to take that raw flour taste out. Okay, because what we're doing right now, this is the beginning stages for our bechamel sauce. Okay, and um, in my experience, when I do a bechamel sauce, I like to add lots and lots of cheese. I mean, some people they'll do more bechamel than cheese, I like to do the bechamel, but add lots of cheese. That's my style, you know? And I understand, especially when you wanna do a good mac and cheese, it's, it's it's costly. Cheese costs a lot of money, especially when you're doing a good mac and cheese like this. So I have different other ways I do mac and cheese too. All right, this is just my ultimate one. Sometimes you may not have money to buy 10 cheeses. So um, you get what you can and work with it. Okay, and sometimes, you know, it may not be all the cheese. I think it's about how you incorporate your ingredients that could really make the mac and cheese over the top. You know, because some people may add less cheese and their macaroni and cheese can be out of this world. So, you know, it's, it's all based on you and your techniques. Um, I just want to give people this idea and so forth okay so we finished to um, toasting our flour and I'm gonna take my half and half and I'm gonna add a little bit of it to the pot and I'm just gonna whisk it because I want to break it down and get it nice and smooth okay we don't want no lumps if you do see anything that's just the onion okay okay I'm gonna add a little bit more milk about a cup more Incorporate that in to ensure the liquid is smooth and there's no lumps. Okay, and we're doing all this on a nice medium, medium low, medium flame, okay? Okay, so we're gonna add the rest of our milk. We got that flour nice and incorporated into our um, half and half milk. So uh, now we're just gonna keep stirring because we wanna get it thickened now, okay? So just keep stirring. Okay, as you can see, it was nice and got thick, and we're gonna start adding the cheeses. Remember when I told you guys the other cheeses that I didn't grate? I just got lazy. I was like, you know what? It's gonna go into the pot anyway. So, um, as you can see, the other cheeses that I grated, I'm gonna add. Well, I'm gonna add the whole Velveeta, but some of the cheeses I'm only gonna incorporate half of them into the cheese sauce and the other half of that's remaining cheeses is going to be layered and I want to show you that in the later clip. Okay, we're adding our Velveeta, our cream cheese. Okay, we're going to stir that. It, oh my God, this looks so good guys, especially when that cheese it looks like a fondue, you know. Basically, I would say it's like a fondue. You know, once you see all that nice cheese melted, okay, it's like a whole symphony going on in this pot right now. With all these beautiful cheeses. Okay, 
okay? I'm just giving you guys, like, you know, the basis of the way I do my mac and cheese, okay? All right, so I'm going to add half of my Reggiano Parmesan, and the other half will be used for layering. And I'm going to add half of my mozzarella into my cheese sauce mixture. Okay. And this is why I didn't add a lot of flour. I just added enough just to thicken it just enough. Not to like a paste texture, you know, because the cheeses are going to make the sauce nice and thick. Alright, so we're going to start adding... Some more cheeses, that's some of our fresh Gouda, smoked Gouda, some of our Monterey pepper jack, some of our cheddar, mild cheddar, some of our sharp cheddar, some of our Colby jack. Guys, let me tell you, smoked Gouda and macaroni and cheese, and anybody who knows will tell you is absolutely delicious that smoky fr and all you need is a little bit you don't need a lot you don't need like a whole humongous big block of cheese in your mac and cheese of, of smoked gouda because that smoked gouda just a small amount a six ounce of, of gouda can really take your mac and cheese a long way okay so we're going to get these cheeses nicely melted as you can see, look at that, look at the goo, look at the stretch. Look at that symphony going on in this pot. Oh, my God. Okay. And, um, of course, yes, this is 10 cheeses. I know people that do even put more cheeses in this. I think there was someone I saw, they put 15 cheeses in their mac and cheese. Okay? So, you know, mac and cheese, it, it, it's, it's a beautiful creation. You just got to know how to really incorporate the right amount of this and that, you know, to cheese to liquid so it won't be dried out. So we're adding some black pepper. I know other people use white pepper, but black pepper is just as good to me. Okay? So, as you can see the way I'm doing this, I will tell you, it's over the top. It's over the top, over the top. And mac and cheese is something, if you can't finish eating it, you could always freeze what you need to freeze, okay? We're going to add some sugar. And the sugar balances everything, because you have a lot of tartness. Because I like a little twang in my mac and cheese. So... The sugar just gives it that balance that we're looking for. You know, it just balances out the flavors. Okay. Guys, let me tell you. Um, I didn't add the seasoning salt. I'm going to tell you why. Even though I showed you that seasoning salt, but I really didn't think I needed it. You know, I didn't need no seasoning salt because the cheeses alone have their salt. So, you know, but it's up to your discretion. If you want to add that extra seasoning salt, you can. But to be honest with you, I really didn't find no need to because there's enough salt in the cheeses. And on top of that, don't forget that we salted our water for our um, elbow macaroni. Okay, so now we are going to drain our macaroni. Okay, and I'm going to rinse them. Okay, I'm going to rinse them because I want to stop the cooking. Some people may not want to. Some people will be like, oh, I don't, I'm not, I, why do you do, well, you know, it's me. You know, you do what you want to do. You know, again, this is going to be your creation. You'll take the basis of this and work it out. Maybe you want to add different cheeses from the cheeses I add, you know. But give this one a shot, you know. Um, you're going to spray it with some cold water just to stop the cooking because it's going to continue cooking in the oven anyway as it's baking and between all those melted cheeses. Okay, so we put our macaroni in a bowl. Okay, 
and I'm gonna beat in some eggs. Okay, the egg is gonna act as a binder as well. Okay, I'm gonna mix in all the, make sure all the noodles are well coated with the eggs. So here's my cheese sauce, as you can see. It's nice and delicious. Oh my God, I could eat it just like that. So now we're gonna take our cheese sauce, we're gonna pour it over our elbow macaroni, okay? And we're going to mix it in. Now, let me tell you something. At this point, if you wanna really, really go crazy and I don't know, you wanna add some shrimp, you wanna add lobster, make it lobster mac and cheese or shrimp mac and cheese. I don't know. This is the time for you to start, you know, mixing that stuff in and, 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 and getting everything coated. Okay? So I'm just mixing in the cheese and getting all my noodles nice and coated. Oh my God, I mean, I could eat this just like that. That just, I mean, I, you, you know, just look at that. It's like, what's the sense of bacon? Let me just eat it just like that, <laughs> okay? Okay, so now we're gonna add some more black pepper, okay? And guys, if you haven't subscribed yet, please don't forget to subscribe, okay? And press that notification bell so you can get weekly updates on all my recipes, okay? Don't forget to share and just let your friends, your family, your neighbors know that Jackie's cooking, okay? So now we're going to add our mixture into a crock pot like thingy that I had. I just wanted to bake my mac and cheese deep. Okay, you can bake it in whatever you want. <laughs> okay, so I am going to layer my mac and cheese. Okay, so I'm going to start, you know, it doesn't matter what cheese, what I just mixed everything in. I didn't care, you know, and I was just layering cheese. I think I had like about three layers. Okay. And now we're adding the second layer of our macaroni mix, macaroni cheese mixture over. So as you can see, I'm just doing a nice layering. Giving you a closer shot. Okay, adding more cheese. That's what it's about. I mean, if you're gonna do mac and cheese, do mac and cheese, go all out. You know, I mean, this is something, you know, again, it's not all the time you could buy all these. I mean, cheese is costly, you know. I mean, if I'm going to do a good mac and cheese for you, it's going to cost, you know. All right, so we're going to add our, I think this is our last layer. put 10 cheeses is fine. Maybe you could only put eight. Maybe you could only put five. You know, but the, the point of this is to just get the basic idea of how to do a uh, nice cream sauce. So now as you see what I'm doing, I'm not mixing it. What it is is that I'm going in and I'm slightly just doing, trying to swirl everything in a little bit. Okay, it's not actually mixing it. Everything is still is just giving it a little lift through in between. If you understand what I'm saying, you know, we just want to make sure. I, I'm just extra with how I do my stuff, but it's worth it because it's good mac and cheese. Okay. All right, so we're going to add the remainder of our cheeses. Okay. Oh, guys, I forgot to tell you, don't forget to grease 
your pan, okay, uh, with butter before you put it, um, your macaroni in, okay? We we'll have our cheeses on, okay? I already have my oven preheated at 375, and I had baked this for about 45 minutes. So it all depends on your oven. You want to have that nice golden brown, as brown as you may like, okay? Uncovered in the oven. Because everything's already cooked anyway. The only thing is, which is not going to take time, is probably the egg. And that's one, two, three. Okay? I'm going to add a little paprika. Just want to make it look cute. Okay, for a little color. So we're gonna pop this into our oven and we're gonna let it bake uncovered and we're gonna let the oven do its work. And here we go. Mm, mm, mm. Now guys, let me tell you something. Please, please don't rush into digging into this. Let it set. Like don't do what I did because I was all anxious because if you pull it out, you know, every, it needs to set, so I would at least let it set for at least a good minimum of 30 minutes, okay? But guys, this was delicious. It was so good. My husband was in heaven, I was in heaven. I don't do this all the time now because you, know, you gotta watch that figure now. But guys, I just wanna say enjoy, love.